The Bishop R.J. Edwards Television Ministry welcomes you to today's program. God has been using his manservant all over the world. There are many who have testified about the teachings of Bishop R.J. Edwards. They speak of how much his teachings have been a blessing to them. Persons have also testified about the healing power of God on his life. They have also received salvation and financial breakthroughs. Today, you will experience a mighty move of the Holy Spirit as our bishops share the undiluted Word of God. So sit back and watch what God has in store for you today and how it will change your life. Let's now go to today's service. Wants me dead. Say with me, the heathen, the heathen. wants me dead. Me dead. But, I but I shall not die. Come on, tell somebody, you won't die. die. I'm talking to somebody. You won't die. I don't know what's happening in your life, but you won't die. Take this from this anointed man of God. I'm here to tell you that you won't die. You're covered under the blood. You're covered under the anointing. The fire of God is hitting your enemies. Somebody open your mouth. Give God a praise. The fire of God is hitting those who are messing with your names. The enemy, the heathen, the evils, hit after Joseph in Genesis chapter 37. Joseph was a dreamer. And because he's a dreamer, he has the prophetic. Did you know that Samuel came under attack by Penina even before he was born? The prophetic, the enemy is after your prophetic. Joseph was a dreamer. He has 11 bad-minded brothers. Some of you that are watching me on television, you know that you grudge your brother. You grudge your sister. Some of you hate God's people because of the prosperity and the success that God has put over their lives. You better repent. Some of you are here. You better repent. You hear me? You grudge, you grudge your own blood. You grudge people because of how they're being successful. You better repent. But the story went on that Joseph brought food to his brothers hungry guys out there you know. they went to the battle and Joseph bought food Genesis 37 read it for yourself he brought food for them and while Joseph was walking with the bread Joseph was walking with the bread in his hand to give endeavors. There 
are the same one who plotted while they saw him coming. They said, see the dreamer there. Possibility exists that they might have eaten the food first. The people who are distanced from you, they can't harm you. It's the people who you love, the people who you care for, the people who you give your money to, the people who you give your clothing to. They are the same one who will kill you behind your back. You devil. But didn't you see it in Psalm 2? Where the kings have come together and they counsel together. Kill the anointed. There are some people who are betraying some of us because of your anointing. Oh God of my because of what. You are carrying because of the purpose on your life, because of the calling that God gives you. You are a talk, they are discussing you behind your back, and they are aiming to see you dead. Tell somebody beside you that purpose cannot die. Come on, tell somebody else that purpose cannot die. Slap this young man, Mama Pearl, and tell him he's going to his destiny. at the first service this morning dark and I saw these two young men crying like babies and I told them purpose shall not die I don't care Devil's dead. they threw him into a pit but the providence of God kept him. They took him out and sold him. They stripped him naked as a common prisoner, as a slave, took him down to Egypt. But that didn't stop him. While he was in the caravan, I could hear him singing, bless the Lord. Remember he has the dream. Remember he prophesied over his own life. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is in me. Bless. When he got there, trouble hit him now. Because somebody lied on him. Went into jail. Into prison. But he still have the dream power. Can you still dream? In spite of what you're seeing? Can you still dream? In spite of what you're going through? Can you still worship God? Amidst the odds. Somebody praise Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and praise him with me. Shout your hallelujah one more time. Bless God amidst what you're passing through. It's 
just a test. It's just a test. Somebody, it's just a test. The hand of God is over your life. It's just a test. God will see you through this. to your neighbor and say, you think me done? Tell the same person, say, you just a call. Tell them you don't see nothing yet. the money and Joseph looked back and said you think me done <laughs> I ready me ready and I gone me gone gone to my next level come on somebody some devils around you some spirits around you some evils wants to destroy you somebody praise God tell them God not finished with me yet. Some people want to see you dead, but God not finished with you yet. You're going to your next level. Come on, put your hands over your head and say, I'm anointed for this. So, when he got there and he utilized his dream power, his dream power took him to the next level. The Bible says your gift shall make way for you. He became the governor next to the king. He was wearing the king's ring now, which means he has authority. I'm almost done now. So God struck the lands where his brothers were with famine. And see the eleven of them coming. And Joseph recognized these are the same. I'm not the governor, but they now become beggars. Jesus. Tell your neighbor this year, your enemy will be a beggar, and you will be the possessor. I wonder if somebody could just open your mouth up and praise God. speak bad of you. Those that 
criticize you. Those that go behind your back and do all kind of things to hurt you, they will be a beggar and you will be a possessor. There will be beggars and you will be possessors. Lift your hands up and say, God, see this prophecy over my life. finish with this one your enemy shall be your footstool whatever they did to you they also did it to Jacob they mess with Jacob's wages but that didn't stop the blessing somebody praise God you were blessed before you start working Somebody help me. Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. But let me end with this one. In the book of Esther, chapter 5, and the third verse, you'll see a man by the name of Haman. give instructions that they should build a gallus 50 somebody help me come on open your mouth and praise God somebody shout a hallelujah Come on, open your mouth and give God a bigger praise in this house. Shout your hallelujah. 50 cubics high. Make it for a man by the name of Mordecai. Mordecai was a sign to take Esther to the kingdom. That was his responsibility. People who has responsibility to settle people, the enemy is always coming at you. My job in this church is to settle people. Because God gave me the anointing to break yokes. Captures people's life. not around Esther will never reach her potential my job is to settle people if I lay my hands on you your life is gonna be changed I don't care what is happening but if I lay my hands on you you're being positioned to your next level God gives me this anointing I met her, she was a domestic helper. Now, she's a prayer coordinator. And an office manager. Somebody praise God. Help me give God a praise. She just, she just flew out there today and, and stayed in a hotel for two weeks and just returned yesterday. Why? Come on, somebody. She's settled something has been broken she is no more domestic helper on suffering if somebody doesn't pick up your hands shouting your hallelujah when I met this little girl at the tent she was just a little girl knew her she did not even have a driver's license <laughs> but I took her in a little room over there lay my hand
hands and said, girl, you're gone, you're gone now. She now, she earned her doctorate. Preaching around the world now. She don't have hands to handle appointments. Why? Because my job is to settle people. Somebody open your mouth. The enemy is going to come after you. I settle. I settle you under God. Under God. Under God. Now you are settling people. was mad. Mad. Look at his head now. <laughs> mad man came into the church. But God used her anointing to settle him. Somebody praise God. Talk about madness. Now he got the glory in his belly. Somebody open your mouth up and shout. could go through this church and tell about people's life that has been settled. When I met her, she came to complain to me in my little office about her husband. yourself you rest yourself somebody praise God rest yourself no. she's a preacher and her husband now become a deacon job the enemy is going to hit after you. When I met her she was what 14? 15 years old in an immaculate uniform. God's power hit her. Changed her life for good. I don't know if she didn't have an encounter with God what she would have been today. And today She's the dean of her Bible college. Today, she's a bank manager. Oh, God of mine. The anointing hit her, and now she's settled, waiting on her husband now. Somebody praise God. Open your mouth. Come on, take him, take him, parent. Take him, take him, take him.
like how you look singing on the choir. beside you, you shall not die, but you shall live, and you shall declare the works of the Lord your God. What a word! We've come to the end of today's program and we trust that you were blessed. If you are in need of prayer or encouragement, call us now at 876-437-9664 or 876-353-0039 and someone will pray for you on the other line. Or for further info, as it relates to getting this message or any other messages, email us at lighthousechurch2016 at gmail.com. You can also visit our Facebook page at the official Lighthouse Assembly Church of God. If you don't have a church home as yet, Lighthouse Church welcomes you. Until next time, this is the television ministry of Bishop R.J. Edwards, and I am Vanessa Baker. God bless you.